Hey, how you doing? This is Daddy T. Um, bring you another video for a lot of people that don't know how to use uh, hot water here in Japan, where I currently live. I've lived here for almost two decades consecutively, so I know a thing or two about how to use these things. These are essentially tankless water heaters. Um, this, these units are primarily used in a residential setting like in houses or apartments or what have you. You usually don't see these in hotels or um, places like that. You just turn the water on like you do in the States and it's hot, right? But what if you're renting a house or whatever, you're new to Japan, you're renting a house or an apartment or whatever, you want hot water, you want to take a hot shower, you just got finished you know, doing a 12 hour shift or whatever. This is how you would do it. <clears throat> you usually have these small little consoles or whatever on your mounted on the wall um, that uh, corresponds the, or acts in conjunction with another unit that is in the actual shower room which is here and there is a box on the side of your house that's mounted to the side of your house and you can identify it because it's usually made by the same manufacturer um, and this in my case is Rinai and that's how it heats up the water via gas so you'll be using your gas bill to heat it up so to start you just want to power it on let's talk about some of the buttons that are on here this auto button will automatically fill up the bath for you um, and then this button right here says oidaki and that will heat up water that is already in the tub for you um, to whatever temperature that it's on now keep in mind I know you guys might come from America or whatever this is Celsius <laughs> it's not Fahrenheit so uh, I actually had a younger brother my younger brother came to visit me um, and he came over <laughs> and my wife said that he had an old 68 degrees Celsius <laughs> So uh, be careful that, be mindful of that. Usually um, for a decent, nice, hot shower, is around here. 41 is good enough for me. Um, it's real good. And then 42 is a little bit hot. I, I keep it around 40, 41. You know what I'm saying? So say you want to take a bath. Like I said, you would just hit the auto button. They may or may not talk to you depending on talk back to you depending on how new the system is now if you come in here look and see like I said my name is Daddy T I got kids the so toys see the hot water will start coming out of here and of course there'll be like a plug button mine's right here that'll stop the water from leaving the bathtub and then it'll fill up and you can use the let me see I think one of these buttons right here will you can adjust the volume of the water um, in the uh, in the bath mine here is separate this uh, the temperature for shower you see the shower icon this is the temperature 37 degrees for the uh, bath so or what they call in Japan Ofudo use it interchangeably with shower also so there you have it um, I hope that helps you and that is how you basically use hot water. Now, when you turn that hot, when you turn that on, when you turn that on, um, you'll automatically have hot water access to your sinks and stuff. So, bam, hit that. Do one of these thingies right here. Bam, I got hot water already. Turn it off. Another thing to keep in mind: you don't want to leave this on all night. Like when you're done, you want to turn it off because I think this will run up your gas bill if you leave it on all day. Some some people don't tell you because I had a friend of mine who said he had uh, a $500 gas bill and I said well do you keep your <laughs> your your system on all night? And he goes yeah I never turn it off. Well there you go. Turn it off when you're done. And for extra points did you know that here's my washing machine. It's pretty cool. It's a sharp thingy. Most of these washing machines these new ones come with these hoses that you can um, take, and they have a little motor in them, they suck up water, you can take this hose, stick it in the tub, 
when it's full of water and use that water to um, basically wash your clothes. And in Japan, they usually use it, they usually use cold water to wash clothes. Um, they're getting better with making machines that actually heat up water if you want to use a hot water option for like whites and stuff like that. So, hope this has been helpful. Um, there you have it. I hope that helps you. And uh, uh, hit a like if you like it. All right. Have a good one. Bye.